You know, one animal that we haven't gotten in a while is a diamond Rocky Mountain Elkin. So today we're heading back out here on Silver Ridge Peaks to hopefully find something good. Now we do have a couple of real decent bulls out here, but we also have a ton of black bear. In fact, there's I think four of them here. I'm not sure why they're all congregated in this one area, but I wouldn't mind trying to triple up and take down two bulls as well as potentially one of these black bear. Not only that, there's no hunting pressure here, so we're not going to wipe out any zones. It's possible. Now we're going to see if we can do it. Oh my god. Oh, we're empty. We're empty. Okay, we got this. We got this, guys. We got this. Get him one more time. Oh, he's already going down. So even if we didn't shoot him again... Um, wait... Oh, that's got it. That's got it. He's going down. We just tripled up. We definitely just tripled up. Looks like there's another bear that came out of nowhere. I'm not sure what the heck that is, but uh, looks like a female. All right. Yeah, I mean, technically that would have been a triple right there. Had we had one more bullet, that second bull would have been piled right up. He went to gone 50 yards after that second shot. Okay, here's our bear down and here's our bull down. To me, it kind of looks like we made two perfect drop shots. That's because we did double lung liver stomach shot at 222 on that one. It was in fact a dusky. And then this one was a spine double lung shot at 222, 292. Very nice bull elk. And then we got, of course, this Rocky Mountain bull down up at the top. So let's see if we can find him. All right, we got bull tracks right here. We got bear tracks here, and I'm pretty sure our bull would have ran through here somewhere. Now we just got to find some blood. I'm not seeing any blood from this track. And that track seems to be a little bit too small. Well, he wasn't that big anyways, and I don't feel like spending any more time trying to find something that isn't here. A lot of times what's happening now is there's a glitch and the blood just randomly disappears, so... No use spending any more time trying to find that bull. But this one is definitely worth it. Look at the size of that bull down there. He's a long ways out. And I'd say that's probably a 400 plus bull. A 400 plus bull at about 400 yards. We're going to have a little bit of drop, but not much because we're super high up here. So we're going to get up on the top of this ledge and go for a 400 yard shot. It looked money to me. It was. He's going down. Down 50% health. And he's going to pile up right there. He's down. Okay, let's mark that to potentially be able to... Oh, we got another decent bull down there. I'm thinking we should probably try for a shot on him as well. This one's a little bit further at 460. But... Like before, it's still doable. And we got him as well. Wow, a very nice shot on him. All right, here we go. Now, both these bulls are down here. It's pretty thick here, so it's going to be difficult to get there safely. But I'd say the big bull should be down right over here. In fact, we may actually stumble upon him. How cool would that be? Whoa, we went right over the top of that stump. Yeah, no, we watched that bull run this way. So, I would assume he should be down right here. Maybe a little bit higher up. And then... Oh, he's right there. We, we must have drove right past him. How in the heck did we not see him there? Oh, I think I know what happened. We turned right, right here. And went up to the top of that hill. As soon as I said he should be right here... And the reason we didn't see him is because he's right behind that tree. <laughs> That's exactly why we didn't see him. Because look, our ATV is right there. We drove right past him. But let's pick him up and see how big he's going to be. Well, not quite 400 plus, but he's a 381 and he is a gold. In fact, we did make a very nice 439 yard lung shot right to the center of the lung there so only a single lung but that took him down pretty quickly 
And he does have quite the rack on him, if I do say so myself. And it looks like that bull's laying right there, piled up right next to that birch tree. We're not even going to have to look for him because he's piled right up. Let's take a look at this bull now. Not quite as big as the other one. 306, but a 466 yard lung shot right there. That's pretty impressive. To still be able to get penetration at that distance, it's pretty impressive and very, very difficult. Whoa, another massive bull. Now, the reason we actually spotted this bull is because a mountain lion tried to throw up in there and jump this bull up. Otherwise, we never would have seen this thing. And look at the rack on that. That right there has got to be a 400 plus bull. There's just no way he isn't. He's got major, major long main beams. I mean, I, I would say he's probably like a 410, maybe like a 405 or something. But he's just one incredible bull, and he's actually working his way out right out to this wide open here. So we'll be able to get a nice chance for a shot in just a little bit. I'm kind of curious, though, where in the heck he's heading to. Whoa, the mountain lion's right there. Oh, my God. Huge mythical mountain lion. Huge mythical. Hmm. This is an interesting predicament to be in here. Because obviously, if we take a shot on one thing, the other thing's going to bolt. Whoa, no way. He's going to feed right there. Oh, heck yes. We got more column back here. Don't worry. We will definitely keep an eye on that mountain lion. Don't you worry. All right, so the one that we want and the bigger of the two is actually right there out in the front. I'm not sure why he's starting to get nervous now. I'm a little concerned about that, but then again, this one's calm, so I'm not really too concerned anymore. I guess he's just nervous because uh, this elk behind us is calling. And I really hope we get a little bit of cover, at least somewhere. But to me, it seems like we're not getting any cover here. I mean, even in here, there's no way. Okay, good. Now we finally got some cover. I can't imagine we won't have cover underneath that tree. Oh, there's a bull. Look at that. And that's not even the big one. He's about 60 yards away. So that means once we get here, we're going to be within 50 for sure. Hopefully 40. But we'll see. Oh, oh, oh. That's not the bull that we want, but it's a good one. All right, we got to make up our mind here. Which bull is bigger? I would definitely say this one is. But he's facing directly at us, so we don't have a shot. What we do have, though, is apparently more cover because there's another spruce tree right here. How cool is that? All right, all we got to do is get to a spot now where we can see and we'll be able to go for the shot. It looks like the wind is slowly shifting as well. But I think we should have plenty of time. Man, we went from no cover to all of a sudden now we literally have too much cover. <laughs> this is wild. Like, we can't see anything. Oh, there he is right there. But we can't see. So what good is that? Oh, we might get cover here. Uh oh. Come on, give me cover. Whew. Yes. All right. We have cover. And there is our bull 30 yards away. There's the other bull right there. You know, come to think of it, I'd say both these bulls are almost exactly the same size. This one has a little more mass. This one definitely has a bigger G3, I believe. But then this one has a longer beam than this one. Man, I really wish they'd come into our call.
Tell you what, what we might do is actually go for a shot on this bull. And then we'll take the other one right after that. Not only that, we may even be able to double up with the recurve. Now how cool would that be? Okay, so this bull is 35 yards away. We're going to pull back. And smoke him. Then this bull's going to bolt on us. All right, well, we definitely smoked that bull. But this bull absolutely just bolted right into the thicket. Well, unfortunately, that guy's getting away. There's no way we're finding him. But we got one of them down. We definitely did. Let's pick him up and take a look. It's going to be a 393 gold. And we got a right lung liver stomach shot at 35 yards. That right there is a beautiful, beautiful bull. Wow. Look at the mass. Look at the width. And look at the beams on that thing. Now, what are the absolute odds of this? We got a giant nine legendary, huge, I think guaranteed diamond mountain lion right out, mountain lion right out there at 350 yards away from us. I don't even know how this is possible. Now, the reason that this moment is pretty incredible here is because we happen to have a huge lookout tower right over here that overlooks this whole horizon. And from here, we're gonna be able to take one incredible shot on this massive dime potential mountain lion, which actually should be visible from right about here. Wow, he's a long ways out there. We're talking 350 plus yards. All right, well, we're not gonna need to because right here, we should be able to see him. Yep, there he is right there. 360 yards away. This is gonna be our first attempt at taking down a diamond mountain lion from a lookout tower. And he is absolutely perfectly broadside. So here we go. 360 yards is a magic number. And we just smoked him. He is going down. All right, here we go. Well, let's go ahead over there and see if we can't find him. And I just realized we probably should have marked where he was at. But then again, we should be able to find the honey pressure as well as the blood and then be able to track him down. Not only that, it's pretty open over here, so we might even be able to just spot him laying there somewhere. Alright, we got tracks here. Not from what we're looking for, though. I believe he should have been right around here. Yeah, that's exactly where he was. There's a nice vital hit. He ran over this way. And... He must have went down somewhere. I don't know if he went over the hill or what happened, but... Oh, he's right here. He's literally right behind us. Take a look at this. All right. Well, let's pick him up. It's gonna be... Oh my god. He is just barely a diamond, but he's a diamond. Diamond mountain lion at 366 yards. And we got a double lung shot with the AR-308. Just barely a diamond. Wow. Cool looking one though. Light brown. A very nice shot at 360 plus yards from the top of that lookout tower. And with that, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Wow. I can't believe we just made that shot.